me put some, let me put some lipstick on. Hey, so clearly you see the thing we're gonna be addressing today, I would hope. Okay, so this time I didn't want to do a generic, you know, tutorial video. So I wanted to read those little Reddit posts, you know. Um, but first, this is the hairstyle I'm going to be doing. Now, them Reddit posts be getting me. And I want to put my two cent in. And I also want to hear y'all's. So, today the title is, Am I the bad guy that I get irritated when my sister leaves her kids at home? I, 21 female, have a sister who's 23 female. She has two kids. Her baby daddy and her live in the same house as me, our siblings, and parents. They have two kids together, and one is barely a year old, and the other one is a new... Dang, she was getting busy. The other is a newborn. She is a stay-at-home mom while her baby daddy works odd and jobs to make the ends meet. They literally do not pay any bills other than the electric. I work full-time, and whenever I have free time, she will ask me to watch her kids. I honestly do not mind. I don't. I know having kids is a lot, and sometimes you need breaks. She will leave the house for hours on end while we, the family, are expected to drop everything and watch her kids. I just got annoyed today because her and the baby daddy got up and left the house and put our mom in charge of the babies. My mom got tired and also wanted to leave the house and called me to ask to watch the babies. Of course, I did it with no problem. While I was changing the newborn, my sister came home and got irritated at me because I was changing her wrong. I told her, okay, but you don't have time to be short with me. I'm only trying to help. In my head, if you have a problem with the way I take care of my nephews, don't bring your kids. Why don't you bring your kids with you then? I'm sorry I didn't sign up to take care of the babies when they inconvenience you. You signed up for this. You have to take the responsibility and not just dump your kids on other people when you have things to do. Bring them with you. Okay. Obviously, I feel like this is an easy answer. Me personally, I don't think she's the bad guy for being irritated with her sister. Like me, I already know how I am. I already know the consequences of what can happen when you have a child and the responsibilities that come with it. Um... First of all, y'all have a big house because that's a lot of people to be in the house. And even if y'all don't, I still think that's just a lot. That's the first thing. Two, I would honestly start just telling her no. Like, she's not the bad guy. The sister has two kids. That's a lot. And she's young. I understand you're young and wanting to do everything under the sun. But, babes, you didn't just have one kid. You had two. And they're less than a year apart, really. So, um, man absolutely not i don't think she's the bad guy because me personally i'm not watching your kid i'm gonna leave before you leave and if you leave your kid at the house i'm calling cps on you because yeah what did you think this was i'm not about to play with you i just i don't know i just don't think people understand what goes into having a child and if you're not ready you should not have a kid like people are like oh you can make it work but in the long run i'm pretty sure this is not going to just stop all of a sudden for her. I'm pretty sure it's going to keep going. And it's going to be a mess. And who going to want to take care of them kids? Like, I'm pretty sure your mom loves being a grandma. But at the same time, I'm like, girl. Tell your sister to get it together. And her being mad at you. Immediate. Doop, doop, two piece. Right there. Walk through the door. I'm throwing the baby at you, too. Yeah. We all going to jail. And your baby's going to get taken away. And you don't got to worry about taking care of him again. I'm just playing a little bit. But, yeah um anyways let's go to this next one okay boom so the next post says am i the bad guy for crashing my father's funeral me 37 my father 57 <clears throat> my father abandoned me and my two siblings at a young age leaving us at the mercy of our abusive mother he later married my stepmother and had a do-over family i kept contact with him after becoming an adult mostly to keep tabs on my new two half siblings my stepmother reached out to inform me that he died from a stroke and they did not want me to attend the funeral because it was for their family she told me that she would call the police if i came i responded that he was also my father whether or not i was a part of their family i've had a chip on my shoulder my entire adult life for having to carry the weight of his decisions 
So I admit I was not very level-headed with my decision-making. All I wanted was closure, and she has the audacity to even attempt to deny me that. My last surviving sibling and I attended his funeral anyway, planning to give a speech in front of their family about his original family he abandoned and the horrors he left us to. I contacted a lawyer about contesting his will. As expected, my stepmother called the police. We weren't able to finish our speech, so I left and left it on the podium and walked to the officers. We talked. We showed our birth certificates and showed pictures proving he was our father and we had to write to be there. But they didn't care. They kept saying it's a civil matter and we needed to leave or be detained. I filed a complaint against the officers, but it probably won't go anywhere. Okay, so boom. Um, Obviously, I feel like all these Reddit posts, they ask, are you the bad guy? But deep down, we all know they're not the bad guy. So, um... Me and her, I would have been throwing frozen hamburger patties at that woman's door. I would have been egging her house. I would make her life miserable because, no, you're not the bad guy. That is your dad, bro. Like, that's your family. Like, I don't know what's wrong with her. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Ooh. I don't know what's wrong with her, but I'm going to need her to get it together. Because, oh, my gosh. Like, girl. Me, personally, if my dad had another family and he decided to do something like that, and they gonna call the police anyway. I can't say what I would do on YouTube because my whole channel will be banned and I would probably be uh, in jail. But no, me and Miss Girl would be boxing immediately after, like, and her whole family. I don't care if I get beat up or not. How are you gonna tell me what to do? Plus, you left me. If my dad, if my mom was like abusive, and my dad left me there. I beat him up. I'm going to induce the stroke. <laughs> you going to get a good one, too. Because why would you leave me there? Like, I'm your kid. And I never understood that. Like, why people decide, oh, yeah, totally don't want to deal with this family anymore. Specifically dudes. I don't understand it. I know probably some women do it. But, like, why would you decide, oh, this family isn't what I wanted. Even though, you know, I have had multiple kids by this person. Yeah, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Let me go to somebody else. Is that literally not mad to you? Like, are you okay? Like, I don't know. This is another reason. This is a side note. This is another reason why I think it is so scary to have kids with anybody. Because anybody, like, bro, they can get up and just decide, now nah, I'm good and don't want to do it anymore. And that's it, bro. Especially being a woman, dude. Like, people are like, oh, no, I'm a da 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 Look, I already know I don't want children for real, for real. Like, I'll adopt. I don't want to have no kid. If I adopt, it's because I know I am. You know, you know, you, you got to go through a lot. So you have to be ready, ready. With a kid, you can be ready, ready too. But you can get your kid and all your money taken away. For real, for real. When you adopt. Somebody can call you one good time. You ain't never going to see that kid. In, like, you got to be on your P's and Q's and ready for it. And it's just so sad. I'm sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. I, the hairstyle you see me doing is the hairstyle I got in right now with all the beads. You'll see at the end. So it's just really loud a little bit. But yo, I feel like people don't understand. Like with this story and the other story, I don't think people understand. Kids, it's not, kids aren't anything you can just, oh, I just want one because they're cute. Or, oh, I want a tax break. Or, ah, you know, I want somebody to take care of me when I'm old. I think people forget that you're not raising somebody for you necessarily. That's somebody that's going to grow into their own person. <laughs> it's somebody you have to take care of, like. I don't know. I feel like the sense of morale this day and age, I'm probably in the past, doesn't, like, I don't know. That's a whole nother conversation for another day. We're just not going to get into it. We're just not going to get into it. We're going to have a good day today. We're going to enjoy this video. But um, we're going to move on to the next um, little Reddit forum. So, the next one is titled, Am I the bad guy for saying my partner is the one that is lucky to be with me? So, I, 23 female, have been dating my boyfriend, 25 male, for a year and a half now. We're very happy together. Rarely argue. And are very much in love. For context, I am a first generation immigrant from a third world country living in a Europe country. European country. My boyfriend, on the other hand, is a native. I studied robotics and he studied linguics. Linguistics, excuse me, but is currently unemployed. Anyways, on to the issue. I've met his family a handful of times now, and at first they were very welcoming and lovely. 
I really thought they liked me. And then they started making comments like, Ah, you must be very happy you ended up with a guy like blank. And you're such a lucky girl to be dating blank. I was small. And I say I'm very happy. And he's indeed a thoughtful, loving man. This went on for a while. Until eventually I just blurted out, Oh, well, he's lucky to be with me just as much as I am to be with him. And his mom laughed and said, not exactly. And I told and said, not exactly. And told me that I have to admit the perks of dating a native and how men like him usually don't date girls like me. I found this very offensive and told her I do love her son, but he's unemployed and will probably be for a very long time. Because of his useless degree. And that if someone is lucky. It would be him. Because yeah. Obviously she got very mad and kicked me out. And I gladly left. My boyfriend wasn't present at the time. But I suspect that his mother told him everything. Except the part where she is very racist. Because he called me. And was angry that I said he's lucky to be with me. And his degree is useless. As if I'm better than him. I pointed out that it's hypocritical of him. To say, when his family does that to me every day and he never stood up to them. Anyways, now thinking back on it, I shouldn't have said that about him, but... Eh. Alright, so boom. I feel like, yeah, no. Um, I have talked to my little, whatchamacallit, my little, yeah, my little boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend. All the time, like, I have these little talks with my, my boyfriend all the time, like... If I don't like his family, I like I tell him, I'm like, I'm not staying here. Like, I'm going home. Or, no, I think it's time to go. If somebody if somebody wants to stick up for you, you got to stick up for yourself. I don't think. Now, I will say, you know, I like the little nice, nasty comments. Is it the right thing to do? Not necessarily. But, I mean, if he's not going to stick up for you, and he's going to just get angry with you. I think just boss up on them. Else. Like, I honestly, think if you want to be like me, I play a long game. I would get a really good she job. She is racist. She's bank, not standing up to his racist up, parents. Like, oh, yeah, in my new mom, car. Or it was in my new whatever. house. Then me and my boyfriend would get married. And then I would break up with him. And he still wouldn't have no job. And then, boom, they could think all they want. But you know what? Their little precious son wouldn't have nothing. He would be broke, have no money, still. And then... I'm signing a prenup. I'm making him sign a prenup without knowing. So he ain't even gonna know. He's gonna just think, oh, these are wedding papers. <laughs> Boom, prenup, and I'm getting notarized. I'm getting it notarized. Do not care. If you don't want to stick up for me, I like bet. I got something for you. But that's just me being mischievous or whatever. But anyways, y'all, I guess it's gonna be the little last one. Cause yeah, this video kinda almost over. But yeah, y'all, in these situations, what do y'all personally think? I'm sorry if I kept messing up in my speech. It's kind of hard to just, well, not hard, but, like, I kind of skimmed through it before I, like, decided to, like, you know, read them out loud. But, you know, your girls are working for progress just like everybody else. So, I'm glad y'all stayed to listen to me to talk about Reddit posts. But I do want y'all's input. Like, I need to know, like, am I crazy? You know, people say I'm crazy, but, like, am I crazy? Am I really crazy or are people just real Delulu? Anyways, y'all. Um, I hope you watch and enjoy the rest of the video. And yeah. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay, sexy mama Cetus, this is my hair. It's been like three days. Now, this video is all over the place. It's because I was trying to also record on my phone and TikTok. But obviously, well, probably not obviously, but I didn't get to like actually get it to work because I went in the frame the whole time. Crazy. But yeah, y'all, come get you this bulb. Let me step outside for you real quick.